Best free things to do in Singapore. Singapore is bold, beautiful, and extravagant in every measure. It's the pinnacle of modernity and sustainable development. Tropical nature emerges from the hillsides as enormous, dazzling buildings tower over glittery colonial homes. It feels like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. This might make you feel like Singapore is unaffordable to visit, but it's not. There are many experiences in the city that you can do for free. Let's look at the best ones. Number 1. Visit the Singapore Botanic Gardens. The Singapore Botanic Gardens is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that spans over 82 hectares of greenery and gardens. You can explore the various attractions within the parks, such as the National Orchid Garden, which houses over 1,000 species and 2,000 hybrids of orchids, the Jacob Ballas Children's Garden, which features a water play area, a treehouse and a farm, and the Symphony Lake, which hosts free concerts by the Singapore Symphony Orchestra every month. It's open daily from 5 a.m. to 12 midnight. Admission to the gardens is free for all visitors. If you want more information, you can also get a free guided tour around the garden. You can visit their website to know more about the guided tours. Number two, wander through gardens by the bay. If you want to feel like you're in a sci-fi movie, head over to gardens by the bay and marvel at the towering super trees. These futuristic structures are not only eye-catching, but also eco-friendly. They collect solar energy, provide shade, and support a variety of plants. It's open from 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. daily. You can walk among them for free or pay a small fee to access the OCBC Skyway for a bird's eye view, the Flower Dome, and the Floral Fantasy. Don't miss the Garden Rhapsody show every night between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m., where the trees light up and dance to music. It's a dazzling spectacle that will make you forget you're in a concrete jungle. Number 3. Explore Little India. Little India is one of Singapore's most vibrant and colorful neighborhoods, where you can experience the culture and cuisine of India. You can walk along Sarangoon Road and its side streets and see landmarks like Sri Veera Makaliaman Temple, one of the oldest Hindu temples in Singapore. Tekka Center a bustling market that sells everything from spices to saris, and Mustafa Center, a 24-hour shopping mall that sells everything from electronics to gold. You can also taste authentic Indian food at restaurants like Komala Vilas and Banana Leaf Apollo, or try street snacks like Vadai and Roti Parata. The nights are spectacular when the streets light up and get lively. Number 4. Watch free concerts at the Esplanade. The Esplanade is Singapore's premier arts and culture hub, hosting world-class performances and exhibitions. But you don't have to break the bank to enjoy live entertainment here. It offers free concerts at its outdoor theater and concourse almost daily, featuring local and international artists from various genres. You can catch anything from jazz to pop, classical music, or even comedy and dance shows. Just grab a seat, relax, and let the music soothe your soul. It is open daily from 8 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. or till 30 minutes after the day's last performance has ended, whichever is later. Before we move on to the fifth one, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Cheap Travel Buddy for more content. The link is in the description. Back to the video. Number five, join a free guided walking tour. One of the best ways to discover Singapore's history and culture is to join a free walking tour. You can learn more about the city's past and present from local guides passionate about sharing their stories and insights. Some of the free walking tours you can join are Indie Singapore, which offers tours of Chinatown, Kampong Glam, Civic District, and Cheong Baru. Monster Day Tours, which offers tours of Chinatown, Little India, Kampong Glam, Marina Bay, and Civic District. And Singapore Footprints, which offers tours of Bras Basa Boogies and Chinatown. You can join either of them, but don't forget to tip your guide. Number 6. Visit the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. The Buddha Tooth Relic Temple is one of Singapore's most impressive and sacred Buddhist temples. It houses a relic of Buddha's tooth, which is displayed in a gold stupa on the fourth floor. The temple also features stunning architecture, ornate decorations, and a rich collection of Buddhist artifacts. You can visit the temple daily from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. for free and join the daily ceremonies, meditation classes, and chanting sessions, or take a guided tour to learn more about its history and culture. You must dress modestly and be silent and respectful within the temple premises. 
It is easily accessible by public transport near the Chinatown MRT station and several bus stops. Number 7. Visit the National Museum of Singapore. The National Museum of Singapore is the oldest and largest museum in Singapore, tracing the history and culture of the nation from its colonial past to its modern present. You can see various exhibits and artifacts that showcase Singapore's heritage, such as the Singapore History Gallery, the Singapore Living Galleries, and the Go Seng Chu Gallery. The museum also hosts free guided tours, workshops, and events throughout the year. Admission to the museum is free for all Singapore citizens and permanent residents. Foreign visitors' entry ticket is $15. So these are the top free things to do in Singapore. Which one of these did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. Have a good day. Keep traveling.